Hello ladies and gents and welcome on back to Starpoint Gemini Warlords. In the last episode I talked about we needed more firepower and how was I going to do that. In this episode I'm going to show you how to make easy money when you're mid to late game. Alright, so first thing we want to do is mid to late game would be anything battleship and above. Right, because we've got battleships, dreadnoughts, and carriers. Dreadnoughts are my favorite. But, first things first, the easiest way to do it, and I might have to come back and reload the game, yeah, look around a bit. You're going to be looking for these destructions, right? So, the destruction ones, uh, you go in, there's a installation in the center, you just need to blow up the platforms and that. Now, if you do that and you wipe everything out, one that runs for 1.5, you're going to get three. Well, the one we're looking for is going to be five and we'll probably get 10 million out of it that's how i got more than enough for us to make our next ship first unmount everything enhancement oh oh i spent a lot of money on all right, go up here to the shipyard. Okay, so we got a couple of choices here. We've got the carrier version, which we could easily buy. But so you look at turrets, right? That's the bottom of the list. Ship to buy seven. 250 when it comes to battery energy, which means you're going to be fighting to keep your weapons going. Now, you look at this beast, it's got 370 and it's got 10 turrets on one side and on the other, and then five and five. We're getting a whole nother 10 turrets worth of firepower on this beast. And uh, when it comes to the heavy batteries, the 33 versus 40, that's how many rounds that you can take. So, and then, ooh, look at that difference in shields. Finger doesn't do much. What's interesting is transporter, it will add to the amount of troops that we have, but buy it. All right, now you're seeing severance. What's severance? Well, you go into research, into refit. I was tell I told you guys originally that this is like the, one of the very few things that I will do when it comes to the upgrading because it makes ridiculous weapons, but they're expensive. So I've got the tier two in. I'm gonna activate the tier three. Up here, chassis. Oh. oh. Okay, you just finish. Because we're going to be making dreadnoughts next. Because that's what we're flying now. All right. We've got our lightning in there, which is the 200 uh, for the average damage. And then the weird thing is, is I've been running these and you get the 5 uh, million ones, the higher version of the two, you start getting weapon. So let's see, which one is the strongest? We've got a 13, 18, 18. We'll put and it doesn't after that yeah you guys know i'm dreading what's coming next huh ah, that won't be too bad no nah, it wasn't too bad. i still got 30 million though so we're good okay this is what's gonna hurt Ouch. 
Ooh. Okay. So we got all the basics. Now we do enhancement. Artemis 3 is going on all of severances. I'll show you what these cost in a sack. And for the hypno or for the heavy weapons, what these uh, All right, so this one gets so expensive so fast. This one, I like throwing the Kronos on there. You can make them a lot powerful, but it's more about if you see that you're in trouble and you see some really big stuff coming your way, right? I want always want range. We'll go with the ranged. All right, shield, we'll keep it simple. Probably just the Optisoft. Now, transporter. This makes a big difference. Troop endurance, troop uh, readiness region. That will bump you uh, two or three guys. Definitely helps. Fighter wing. How crazy do we want? A lot more money. I like this one. Fight, flat out fighter damage and then uh, HP and damage absorption. Absorption. There we go. I like the dynamo. Speed maneuverability and acceleration. And then the only way to get one for the grappler is if you do it in the research tab. All right, folks. Well, I wanted to wait until the severance was done so normally we got 210 right that's your big uh the ripper three before you start getting into these right and that's a million two but just doing the severance it's cheaper and 289 then we go 430 and then we go 530 these are 5.5 million We're going to take four. So with the buffs, it kicks it up to 645. Let's see what it does now. Oh, that was not what we wanted. There we go. That one. Is. Okay. 794. Holy shit. That was just the severance all the way up. Ooh. I'm thinking about what we currently have here when it comes to my heavy weapons. I'm not impressed with them. But the other part of this, again, is we've got... I think that's for the ships. Unity... That's the only one you can use for the grappler. Blink, it never worked right for me. Halo is a shield enhancement. Sensors, and that's probably propulsion. See what the uh, Halo does. All right, so what mission am I running? Well, first things first. This is the incredibly wickedly hard version of what I've been running. Now, if you kill everything in this, you're going to double this. So you're going to be pulling 10, 10 million a shot. The problem is that as it scales, I tried to run this in my battleships, no problem. There are only maybe one, maybe two carriers. When I tried to run in my dreadnought, all of a sudden there's five or six and I get overwhelmed because I've just got uh, battleships flying with me. Installation assaults, another good one. You don't get quite the same bonuses for it, 
but it's easy. It's got one big thing in the center. You smack that, you drive it out, and it's no big. And oh my god, they don't have it. One sec, I will reload. Good luck. All right, here we go. This is what I was talking about. Um, willing and capable crews wanted. Solo Concord wants an area cleared of any intruders. Extra pay for going above and beyond the agreed terms. In other words, you slaughter everything. You can double your pay. May your travels be bountiful. Initiating All right, so the tips and tricks on this bad boy. With this mission, you don't want to just let yourself fly into the center of everything because then every single ship before your boys get there will drop on you. Um, that was the one of the other problems I was running into is there was a major lag with my fleet coming in with those higher ones. So, still... Doing this versus maybe a million for the um, scavenger missions. This took me less than a day to go from zero to you guys saw when we started the 70 something million. So, we stop and we look. Ooh, we looked out this time. There's no carrier. You see, my, fr my people are way the behind us which is fine because again even if there was a carrier here target neutralized but the big thing with this is you see these it says derelict that means we want to use uh, we want to kill everything, pick everything up, and then use our scavenger swarms. All right, now that everybody finally caught up, I won't even have to use my big boy weapon. And all the power on our weapon. I might go pick that up over there. Grab that? Yeah. Now we just got to kill these things. Pretty easy to do. Oh, it's an actual ship. Not for long. Some variety's attacking us. Assistance required. We can't take this any longer. Target neutralized. Okay. So we killed everything. Now we need to pick up. These guys. One of our fleets have finished their job. Give me a second to do that. Watch me bounce off my other stuff. Now, what is she flying now? Damn carrier. Gee. And one little weird thing about these is you actually have to get a little bit closer than when you're doing the normal ones. There's no big. That's nice that there was a big battle down underneath us. I can go grab all that.
HQ reports one of our fleets have returned. The mission was a success. Great job, Captain. Here we go. There you go. We doubled our money because we killed everything. Realigning course. All right. So besides that, what else do we need to do at this stage of the game mid game? Well, I went through and unlocked everything at this base level here, right? So second level has been 100% done. Can't do anything else. So we do this. Now, most important thing. Tactical Ops. For us to start really building out our stuff, right? I need to take and send probably two to three of my battleships and start building out small groups. And then I need to take him, put a carrier with me, a carrier with maybe one of my groups. It's a strong group. So yeah, first thing is max fleet power. Now there are other ways to get additional fleet power. And I showed you guys, I think a few episodes back, we went and attacked a certain installation. I'll show you that in a sec. Let's see. Definitely want to do the mining ops. We've got to get more gas. That's that's killing us. Same thing with the uh, uh, salvage stuff. Now we can take and double up everything. Don't have enough research for research and development. And trade center means we can do two major trades. Now I did. Let's see. All right, so let's see, where is the next is, where is, okay, here we go. Hello, sir. Let's have a chat. Need something. Let's see, so we need, want to enter an agreement. And we can deliver 405 materials every week for 11 weeks at the meager cost of Thirteen million credits. That's it. For the next eleven weeks. You know what? Let's see if it takes it out all at once. Oh, it shit! It did. All right. So there we go. Keep that in mind if you're going to do any of the trade missions. They're expensive. Oh, thirteen. Ow. And now I'm down to squat diddly, but that gives me a chance to rebuild things. So I won't upgrade anything else. We'll go over what we can do with the rest. I think we're good, though. Construction-wise, I mean... We might want to bump out the maximum fleets. Uh, research of the Mark II designs. So the really good thing about that, and this is what I'm going to actually do next while uh, in between episodes, is that the Mark IIs... And I'll show you. You look at a Mark I right that's what it costs the mark ii which is the stronger variant a uh, variant the rebuilt variant that bad boy is almost twice the amount you definitely want to get the stronger var variants right that means i because i've got the stronger variant here for the battleship that i've been making versus the baby ship but the really hard part now that I have now done the part that you need to do. I need to go find a dreadnought ship and I need to actually capture it, which is the hard part. Um, because I've got everything almost 100% done out here that you can do. Oh, well, almost. So when it comes to capturing ships, 
And I might do uh, an episode on this. You guys let me know down in the comments if that's what you want to see. An episode just on cap capturing ships. You go through all of these, fill all those out, and then negotiations. Because again, all these help you capture enemy ships, increase your chance, raise the amount of people that you have. Here we go, one more. That's what we're going after next. Ooh. Now, Savvy Chief. Now I've got to start going. I think at this point, because we've we've unlocked everything, Savvy Chief should be what happens next. I will test and go over it and see again how many of these. Ooh. Oh, that's that's maximum rank there. Okay. Oh, that can keep going. That means. Oh no, not quite enough. But this thing gets wicked. As it gets higher and higher up, it will start uh, doing damage to everything, which is really good for some of the crazy crap we get into. Well, there we go, folks. I thought I would give you the 411 rundown on things instead of really doing a whole lot of the story mission mode because you really want to make sure before you do that because the game's going to start pushing us towards the end game real soon. So this is a good time to do the mid, mid stuff. If you want to know, we, uh, yeah, Ophiel take two. That's what we're not doing. We're going to do this instead for this episode, just so you guys can build yourselves dreadnoughts and whatever else you want. I thought I'd do something for mid-game upgrade tier. Anyways, folks, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, let me know what you think. As always, keep your heads down. Ships of Doom. Up. And I'll see you again. A real dancing.